Hello, today I'm going to be doing a video about um, working on the new server room, or the server closet. And so, remember how my servers used to be here? Well, they were really loud, so I moved them to here. Okay, let's go in the server closet. Okay, in here, starting at the top, there's a little rack right there. That's uh, where our patch panel is and then the switch. And I have that gray line in the middle there that's going over down the server rack. Um, over here I have some extra parts. And then right here is just a screen connected to one of my servers. We're just running Windows 10, which will be updated to Windows Server. So here's the rack. It's temporary. You can see it's covered in cardboard. I'm going to get a new rack. It's a bit taller and nicer. This is just like a shipping rack. Um, so starting at the top here, I kind of move some stuff around. We have a PDU with all the outlets in the back. And I believe that it has a 15 amp breaker. I think I think it I think it also has some surge protection. Right here is just a cover plate that, was, that has USB which isn't hooked up. Right here I have my Cisco MCS 7800s series server and this is running my public minecraft server um, and it is active right now and it has two hot swappable drives I think in RAID 1 and it is on rails so there's that server well all that I have is a generic server that is really slow and it's not even on right now because when it's on it's extremely loud after the generic server um, is my old Minecraft server and this is the one that was sitting on that shelf I put the motherboard in a new enclosure, this rack mount I'm pretty sure it's 8U um, and it has a little door and a lock on it and I have the key right here and if we open it up and I got this for a really good deal, it was only $10 so Right here, starting from the top, we have a reset button which isn't hooked up because for some reason this circuit or this motherboard does not have a reset button. There's the hard drive active light. Sorry if you can't hear me. Below that we have the power light, and there's the keyboard lock switch, which there's obviously nothing that doesn't do anything right now. And the main power switch, which does work. And then for the bays, I have three bays. I was going to put in a hot swappable, I had this hot swappable tray thing that would fit in there, but it made it so I couldn't put in a stick of RAM, which sucks. Um, so I have two DVD drives just because I didn't want any holes there, and then it came with one spacer. This one works. I don't use it. And then this one's not even hooked up. Um, and over here is some fans, and that is like a key lock or something. And underneath that, I have this piece of foam right here, and my little um, TP-Link dumb switch. And there's no video on right now, so you can't see any. So I'm going to be kind of doing like a little vlog thing. I'm just going to be tidying up the cable management in here, and hopefully you enjoy.